Now I would like to show you the display in a little bit greater detail. This is what you've seen in the other videos. You have your spectrum analyzer up top, your waterfall in the middle, and the text on the bottom. Well, what if you don't want to decode the text, or if you're in sideband or AM, FM, the other modes that don't need it? Let's turn those off. Well, now we just have the spectrum analyzer and the waterfall. To get here, I use the labels button. And to describe these buttons, the white lettering on top of the button is a tap, and the yellow lettering under it is a hold. So, to bring up the labels, I press and hold, and here are the labels. This is another option. These labels here show what these function keys are able to do, and that's fully programmable in the menu. Now, the function buttons along the bottom also fall under the same tap versus hold principle. So, you see FN1 on the left, it says freeze and peak under it. Well, freeze means it will freeze the waterfall and the spectrum analyzer. So there's our freeze. If we want to see a peak, we have a signal, which is hard to tell currently. We can press and hold and we get the peak. And the blue line shows that peak and the yellow line continues to show the signal as it is. I would like to get into those in a later video. To show an example of another adjustment for the display, let's use waterfall. We can do we can adjust the height of the waterfall, and let's go down to a hundred. Now, the spectrum analyzer is much larger, and the waterfall is uh, much smaller. Let's look at a few more options. If we would like, we can turn off the waterfall and just see the spectrum analyzer. Let's just press the display to do that. And if you want to see even more of the screen, we can cycle through and turn off the uh, labels on the bottom. Um, another option is the reference. You can see how much is showing here on the bottom as far as um, the, the value that's showing up um, and the height that it is in the screen. Let's go back to show the waterfall to show the effect of that as well. So let's adjust the reference. Right now we're at uh, negative 103 dBm. So let's go to much more sensitive. And you'll notice as you're showing much more sensitive, you also see that sensitivity on the waterfall. Now you can see here an RTTY signal showing up in yellow versus before it was barely blue. So you can adjust this level, and you just tap the reference button when you're done, to show how much blue or yellow or even red you would like to see, or how high you want these peaks to be. Another option we have is the span of the signal we can see. So of the spectrum we see, we have negative 5 and positive 5, and these are values in kilohertz. So we're at 7.105. That means the left edge is 7.100 and the right edge is 7.110. We can change that span by hitting the span button and moving this in and out. One thing to note, you can see how narrow this becomes. You see the center line is your center frequency, but then you have green around the edge and that is your filter. Our span is very small now, so our filter looks very large. Let me adjust that just so you can see. As I adjust the filter size, the green shows the size of your filter. After adjusting the span, we're going to change the center frequency. Well now, we can actually move where we are. So the radio is still set to a center frequency of 7.105. But we're moving the spectrum of what we're reviewing up and down. So the radio will still receive and transmit here, but we're moving down so we can see more to the lower frequency. And we'll adjust that back to our original radio frequency. Turn that off. 
a scale is another option. This is the, the scale of the height of the, the signal here. So you can adjust how high these are or low these are and see how the waterfall reflects those changes. The last thing I would like to show you on this video is the marker A and the marker B button. These markers can be used for various things, but you tap to press and hold and get marker A. Press and hold to get marker B. These can be turned on, let's tap, go back to marker A, and adjusted for where a signal might be, as well as other things. Press and hold again to get to marker B. If you would like to turn them off, we're on marker B, so we press and hold to turn marker B off. We're on marker A, so we tap to turn marker A off.